the next topic is the 15th topic it is about translation translation is one of the easiest of all lessons among uh, you know reflection symmetry uh, rotations translation is very easy why because the original image is always preserved it is very easy to figure out translation because if the original image is stampered then there's no translation it must be same and it will be equally moved the translation is same at all the points what i mean is if this is a translation then the movement at j to the new point j is one two three four five in the x-axis and one two three in the y-axis it must be same over here with k one two three four five one two three and one two three four five one two three that will be the same so yes this is translation now we hear what is the translation vector first of all yes this is a translation uh, this image is translated to j dash k dash and l dash but what is the translation vector that is given as x comma y we saw five x units and three y units so the first answer is the correct answer this is it now we will see some more problems over here they have told the image of each point after given translation vector so now this is the given point f equals minus 3 comma 1 if this is the x-axis it will be somewhere over here this is the point now this is the translated point phi comma minus 3 now phi comma minus 3 will be uh, okay this is the translation vector given so where will be the reflected uh, translated point so it is being moved five units to the right so it'll be one two three four five and then one down it will be over here it basically it's very very simple all you need to do is the first term is there right minus three add five and for the second term subtract one the translation vector is just added to x and y coordinate respectively so the answer over here would be two comma zero that is the answer that's it that would be the reflected point now same thing over here subtract two from four this first with first x with x y with y so four minus two is two and minus two minus five because when you add this is going to be subtraction minus seven two minus seven same way over here we can do it by yourself all these are very simple let's just go through this the image of a minus three comma minus five under a translation is a dash six comma minus one find the image of b three comma two minus two under the same translation so what they have told is this point a which is at 3 minus 3 and minus 5 somewhere over here is being translated to 6 and minus 1 over here so if there was a point at b which is 3 comma minus 2 somewhere over here where would that be translated it will be somewhere over here right but we need in proper uh, details proper values so how do you do is first find the translation vector find how is it translated this minus this will give you the translation vector that is a dash translated minus the original gives you the translation vector so what that means is six minus of minus three and minus one minus of minus five this is what we need to do and find now you'll get nine over here and then over here you will get my uh, plus four so my minus minus becomes plus five minus one is four so nine comma four is the translation vector the answer is not over you need to add the translation vector over here what did i do i just found the translation vector because translation vector is always added to the original image right and then we get a b dash or a dash now we need to find translation so subtract the original image uh, sorry uh, translated image with the original you will get translation vector okay once you get the translation vector 9 comma 4 add it over here it'll be 12 comma 2 that is the answer it'll be 12 comma 2 so this is how we do it same way last one over here we need to just uh, construct a 
uh, okay, over here, what they have asked is whether this is translated or no. See, like we have done this previous one, isn't it? But over here, there was a graph given, but here there are points given. So what, what it means is they are telling whether these both are reflected or no. Let's see how do we see it. Now here, the first one is my reflected minus 1 and minus 2, isn't it? How do we find the translation vector? Subtract over here. Subtract a dash minus a. That means a1 minus 1 and minus 2 minus 2. What is the answer? It is 0, sorry, it will be minus 2 and minus 4. So basically, this is the translation vector which is being added to all the original points. So if I add minus 2 over here, I'll get minus 1 and minus 4. Yes. Now, whether, whether this is translation, add minus 2 to 0, you should have minus 2 and minus 4. Over here, it should have been positive 4 and minus 4. It's, it's wrong. It's not translation. The image is not translation. Why? Because they are not moving along the translation vector. The all points are not moving along the same translation vector. They are moving in different directions. So no, all points are not moving in the same direction or they are in the same direction. So it is not a translation. That's it. So that is basically how we solve the topic number 15. Uh, just remember the translation vector. If you don't, if it's not given, solve it by subtracting the original point from the translated point. You'll get the translation vector and then just check for the answer.